This is the Daily Pulse from Speak My Word Ministries. I'm Travis Zimmerman. This is an outtake from a breakfast conversation we were having about the differences between mercy and grace and my son Grant's definition. <laughs> it's so hilarious. So we were reading out of the New Testament and as I was searching for a scripture, I went into Matthew 9, 13 and, and Jesus himself quotes Hosea 6, 6. And I'll read that one here. It says this, for I desire mercy, not sacrifice, an acknowledgement of God rather than burnt offerings. So Jesus is saying here, you know, I des- you know he's, he, what he says is go and find out what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. So we're, I'm talking to the kids, you know, mercy and grace. You know, a lot of times they're, they're considered synonyms, antonyms. You know, there's, there's a lot of opinions on those. And, and I found some good working definitions. And I'll give you Grant's definition. Here's some good working definitions. Mercy means not getting what we deserve for our sin. Mercy is God's decision to punish us. His, his decision not to punish us as we deserve. And again, mercy means not getting what we deserve for our sin. Mercy is God's decision not to punish us as we deserve. So that's mercy. You know, we're, we're, we're let off the hook. And here's grace. But grace means much more than that. It means not only that we don't get what we deserve, but also that we do get what we don't deserve. So we get something we don't deserve. And, and Grant's definition was, he said, Dad, mercy is, is not getting punished for lying. So that's mercy. You know, not getting punished for lying. That's, that's the cardinal offense in the house. But grace is... Mom taking us out for ice cream after we lied. (laughs) I just laughed. I thought that's such a good definition. So mercy in Grant's world is not getting punished for lying. And and after after you do lie, mom takes you out for ice cream. And how much greater is it with God? You know, God has this, he's so merciful and he's willing to forgive us of our sins. He's willing to justify us, declare us not guilty. And not only that, he gives us what we don't deserve. You know, we, we deserve you know, we deserve it for the wages of sin is death. Our sin deserves death, hell. But because the price Jesus you know, you know, went to for, for on, on Calvary's cross, the price he paid on his shoulders, the grace, the ultimate grace is that he gives us eternal life, eternal life through Jesus Christ. I mean, talk about when you're coming down to mercy and grace. Father, we thank you for your mercy, for not giving us what we, what we deserve. And we thank you for your grace for giving us well, not only what you deserve, but giving us beyond that eternal life in Jesus Christ just by choosing him. In your name, Father, amen.